Hi, welcome to Embody Learning Systems. My name is Claire Maxwell, and I guide people on learning journeys through their body. So learning journeys are different than improve, self-improvement journeys, um, diagnostic and treatment journeys. Uh, it's a different way of engaging with your body, but I think it has healing properties. So I'm interested, today we're doing uh, the second cranial nerve. We're going through all the cranial nerves in sequence and I make a video every month. So this second cranial nerve is the optic nerve and it's purely sensory. So if you're stressed out, it's actually a wonderful place to go and visit. However, it's so complex that when you start to try to learn about it, you can get stressed out just from, from trying. Uh, so I'm not gonna go into a lot of the details, but this is what it looks like. Um, it, it goes from the back of the eye through the entire depth of the brain and ends up in the visual cortex at the back of the brain. And so the organ receives the information but what you perceive as vision, if you are sighted, um, happens in the brain in the back of the cortex. So this is the organ and it's so beautiful and so perfectly round. So the light comes in through the lens and goes to the back. I think I have it, I think it's, this is more, there we go. <laughs> So what's important about this is that um, visual strain comes from us focusing on small things too much of the time. So our eye was designed for seeing across distances and close up, and it needs to make those movements. So especially if you wear glasses, what happens is the glasses focus all the light on this tiny part of your retina in the back that is responsible for focus. But look at how much other retinal um, cells, how many more cells in the retina there are. It's two thirds of the back of the eye and those cells get deprived. They get deprived of, of um, color and light. So we're gonna do a four step process today and it's just a guided journey into this retinal um, two thirds of your eye. That's where those nerves are receiving that information. That's it. It's not a motor nerve. There's no muscles connected to it. Um, a little bit of the contraction of your pupil related to the reception of light, but no muscles. So the first step of the process is to close your eyes. Now I want you to be comfortable when you do that. So you could be standing or you could be sitting in a chair, but just stable and comfortable. The second step of the process is to ease your eyes. So further on, down the cranial nerve line, there are plenty of muscles around your eyes. But right now we're just focused on the light reception. So see if it's possible for you to ease your eyes just a little bit more. You've got a right eye and a left eye and there's space between your two eyes. So you can just let them rest and sometimes the tissue is pretty sensitive, so you can feel, oh, you know, I'm kind of squishing that globe, and I, I don't need to do that. So you let go. So the first step is just to close your eyes. Second step is to ease your eyes. The third step is to center yourself. And what I mean by that is to 
realize that you know where the ground is without seeing. This is something that unsighted people live in. It's just normal for them. But for a lot of us, it's a new territory and it's actually really fun to explore. So you can feel the ground underneath your feet. Your brain knows where the ground is in relationship to a chair if you're sitting in it. And your body is balancing your head just perfectly on top of your spine without you having to see. And the third, is this the third? No, this is the fourth step you're going to begin to move. Just little delicate movements. And the reason behind the movement is to see what changes you experience at that really broad color field that um, you're perceiving right now, if you're sighted. So begin by dipping your nose gently down towards your chest and letting your shoulders and your ribs adjust. Chances are it will be darker and the color will be different. And you can hang over as far as you like. You could go all the way or just part way. I'm just going part way. And you can let your arms dangle. And if you turn your nose really delicately to the left, your head will turn and there will be a shift in the color field. You know, maybe it's a little lighter in the left eye or the right eye. And then bring your nose back to the center and gently tip it, your nose and your ear to the right. And you can just let all the other parts of your body move and adjust because you don't have to, um, you know, you're not doing this to stretch or make a shape of any kind and you can just shake out down there and just notice oh did I did I forget to ease my eyes can I remember the space between them and then you can slowly bring yourself back up and if you're standing you could even turn around it's really fun to do and it's amazing how we can just let our head balance up there on the top and our body knows what to do. And the more easy we are around our eyes, the less strain there is, the easier our neck will be, the easier our breathing will be, and the easier our posture will be. So slowly, now you're gonna open your eyes. Oh my goodness, there you are. <laughs> so, Four steps. One, close your eyes. Two, ease your eyes. Three, locate the ground, center yourself. And four, just start to move a little bit, stretch out. When my eyes are closed, I stop worrying about what I look like and even just that kind of relaxes me. And there's a whole world of movement where our senses get, well, other senses get woken up because vision really dominates. It's really interesting. Okay, I hope that was fun. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next month with the next nerve.